Hey everyone, it's Vinny, and I know last weekend did not go great at Gulfstream, but going back to Gulfstream, uh, I feel better about this weekend than I did last weekend. Uh, big Kentucky Derby prep weekend uh, across the U.S., the Holy Bulls here at Gulfstream. I know the dudes have a betting Bible for it, uh, so let's get into it. We're going to start on the Holy Bull undercard here for Saturday. We're going to go race eight is the grade three Swedish champ for three-year-old Phillies going a mile and a 16th on the turf. And I'm a big fan here of the number one life's an audible for Todd Pletcher with Irad riding. Irad won basically everything last weekend. Part of the reason I really like this one, but also I know she only has her maiden win, but her last two seconds have been behind hard to justify and uh, Orzar who both, if they were in here, would be probably be very heavily favored. Uh, Ozara has beaten a handful of horses in this field. Uh, so the fact that Life's an Audible only ran, ran right behind her uh, in her three-year-old debut is pretty impressive, in my opinion, because a lot of these others weren't even close to her. I think there's a good chance that Life's an Audible will be the favorite here, but as long as she's like a, like a two to one five to two type of favorite i will be playing her to win i just think she fits she seems to be improving uh you can throw out the the breeders cup the breeders cup juvenile phillies turf she just didn't get a good trip that day but her other races make her super competitive here here i think she's ready to have a big three-year-old year for todd pletcher moving on to race number nine it is the swale it's seven furlongs on the dirt for three-year-olds. And this is a very interesting race, in my opinion. We're left with eight after the early scratch of the number one in here. Uh, and the one probably would have been the favorite. So now you're left with you're left with a field of eight who, in my opinion, for the most part, are all pretty balanced. Uh, I am going to end up here using the number seven legalize and the number six risk it. Uh, legalize who I think will probably end up being your favorite, your, your favorite in here has looked really good in the last two starts. One, both, uh, one of those starts was at this seven furlong distance. Uh, if you're a big, if you're, if you follow buyer speed figures, uh, this is your horse. Uh, the rest of this field only has one start with at least an 80 buyer speed figure while legalize has run back to back mid 80 buyers. So an improvement here would be an improvement for the three-year-old debut here, which is kind of expected, would make this one super tough. I actually personally like this one because I don't think Legalize needs the lead. Uh, showed a little bit of restraint last time. Didn't just get go right out to the lead. Did sit a little bit off the pace. Was basically on it, but did sit about third uh, in the early stages of, of his last start. So I like that. I think for these type of races, uh, being able to sit a little bit off the pace, unless you are just clear cut the best speed, there is other speed in here. So being able to rate is big. Uh, I think Legalize can do just that. Uh, looking at the number six, though, Risk It, I think this is one that's going to be a decent price on the board. I think he's probably going to be one of the long, longer-ish prices. I'm expecting him to be eight, like eight to ten to one against this field. I really like him cutting back. I've had a note on him that if he ever cut back uh, to under a mile to give him a shot. And that's what he's doing today. His last two races, he rushed, he tried to rush up and just got jockeyed around. It didn't really get, couldn't get the lead, kind of folded. Uh, the fourth place finish uh, in the jockey, in the, the jockey club cup there, uh, second to last start as a two year old. Was very good in my opinion. He had awful position. The trip was terrible, but it looks a it's a lot better than it appears uh, on paper in my opinion. I really like this one cutting back. I think he's going to be able to sit kind of close to the pace, just like legalize. Uh, legalize. I think he's going to run a big race at a at a decent price here. Uh, he looked very good when he broke his maiden at six furlongs, then they immediately stretched him out. I I'm hoping that this is they're not going to keep trying to put him back on the derby trail if he does run good here. I, this horse, even by the breeding, screams sprinter to me. So I like the cut back. I think he's going to improve. Uh, I'm going to play an exacta with these two. I'm hoping that we get at least like 
12, 14 to one here on the exacta. Uh, in depending on the price of legalize of legalize, I might play a win bet. Um, if risk it is double digits, I'll play a win bet on risk it. Uh, I do think this horse has a very big chance here uh, in race nine. Going on to Sunday's card, race number seven is a maiden optional claimer going one mile. And I think the number four, one sharp cookie, will probably end up being the favorite in here. But this one just looks tough. Uh, ran a very good second last time out, but today gets Lasix for the first time in his third career start. If he improves off that second place finish, I feel like the rest in here are running for second. Uh, that race is by far, in my opinion, the best race any of these other horses have run. Uh, so an improvement off of that would be, would be very tough to beat. Uh, I also like the fact that Safi does have the number one tour guide in here, but one sharp cookie is the only one of his two runners that's not up for claim. Uh, in my opinion, this kind of seems like Safi picked a softer, softer spot for this horse to get this horse a win so we can run him in tougher races next time out. I'm expecting him to be around eight to five. If he's eight to five, if he's eight to five or higher, I will be playing a win bet on the number four one sharp cookie. And then looking at race eight on Sunday, it is a five furlong sprint on the all weather track, and there's two horses in here I think look look very tough. Uh, the first one is the number five Bedrock Birdie. Uh, gets the jockey upgrade to Irad Ortiz for uh, for a three year old debut. Last time at this level, ran fourth uh, as a two-year-old without Lasix. Gets Lasix for the three-year-old debut. Really like that. Irad getting in the saddle is a big improvement. Uh, that's uh, I probably going to take money here. Uh, would I'm going to guess probably around that three to four to one range. But I think this one should improve with uh, with the Lasix. And I, I like the post position. It is a smaller field, so I think from post five, we should be able to get a very nice trip. The other horse in here that I'm interested in is the number six, Brizero for Safi Joseph. Also getting Lasix for the first time today, and she has improved in both career starts. Easily broke her maiden last time out here uh, back in November as a two-year-old. First start at three, gets, the, gets Lasix. I think she's going to be very tough here today. Uh, Saez was aboard her. Uh, Edgar Saez was aboard her last time Last time out in that maiden breaking score. He's back on her today. I think she's going to be very tough. I'm hoping she's around that 4-1 to one, four to one range. I'm hoping Irad does take a ton of money. I'm going to play a double from race 7 with uh, one sharp cookie. I uh, might play this that Safi Safi double. I'm hoping it's going to pay about ten to one. Um, if this exact has decent a decent will pay of around like ten dollars, I may play it. Um, otherwise, I'm probably just going to use this race as a as a key race for those multi race tickets. Uh, a shorter leg where you only need the where I think you only need to use two. Uh, Two horses to get out the race before. I think you only need to use the. I think you only need to use one sharp cookie. So two legs on that in the late sequence that I think you can go pretty short in. Uh, so you can you have more you have more spots on your ticket in the other races. So best of luck at your playing this weekend, and I will see you next time.